Let's pretend it's 1987 and you have just decided to buy a new computer. You went to the store and after evaluating many options, you decided to buy an IBM XT model 286 because it costs less than the 80, well $3,000 difference, but it is still powerful. You already have an IBM 5151 monochromatic green screen monitor and the MDA card dedicated to it. And since in 1981 you paid it a lot of money, you don't want to change it with a CGA monitor, which still cost a lot. So you decided to keep it. And to manage the newer applications that require the use of graphics, you have decided to switch from the MDA to the Hercules graphics adapter. Returning from the shop, you have set this station. So this is an IBM 5162, also known as IBM XT Model 286, or a computer in the case of XT and PC, but the, with the technical design of the AT. It has 640 KB of RAM and a Seagate SD2254 20 MB of face and 1.2 MB floppy drive and of course instead of the original MDA monochrome display adapter we have an Hercules attached to the monitor. Let's take a closer look. Okay, maybe from the prompt it is not very clear, but already from here we can say that the Hercules makes an imitation of the CGA, but it's not a precise imitation. In fact, the games and the programs must have compatibility with the Hercules, otherwise they will not work. It is interesting to note that the Hercules standard exists thanks to Mr. Van Zwanukul, uh, sorry for mispronunciation, who wanted to use an IBM to write his thesis, but the original IBM MDA card did not have support for the Thai alphabet. So thank you dude. As you can see, this is not the CGA font, but instead it is the original MDA. In fact, if I write the command mode C080, which stands for 80 columns color mode, and I press enter, I get this error message, function not supported on this computer, <laughs> which is not true. But the computer thinks because of the Hercules card. Instead, if I write the command mode mono, which stands for monochromatic mode, the screen clears and returns to the prompt. However, if I list the directory and try a game with graphic skills, it will run in CGA mode, but in monochrome. Let me show it. As you can see, every time the screen is refreshed, there is the typical flickering of the CGA. In fact, in the EGA, this problem will be removed. Anyway, this particularity of the CGA can be noticed also by making a directory. Here you can see it on the sides of the screen. So, this game is currently being run with some sort of CGA emulation, <laughs> but on the monochromatic screen, I love this thing. You can now see the type of green that I see, which is automatically corrected from my camera, so I lowered the exposure and sorry for the flicker. The game is extremely detailed, 
it is almost as good as the CGA, well not so much, but still it's fully playable. Now let's try another game, for example Ultima 1, which does not have the support of Hercules, although it is much simpler on a graphic level than Monkey Island. As you can see, the game is shown only on the left side, <laughs> there are errors in the text, wrong characters, and if I try to select my character and continue the game, the cursor appears, but nothing else. A simple game like Ultima 1 cannot be run on Hercules, although the same game can be run on two monitors in CGA and MDA, but that's another story. Trying other games, strange things happen. Let's take Prince of Persia as an example. Everything is stretched and small, my 5151 needs to be adjusted, but still. This game is less detailed than Monkey Island, however it is still perfectly playable. And then I really appreciate this persistence of the phosphors every time the characters move. Instead, there are some games that work in CGA, but that don't work at all in Hercules. Commander King 4, for example, does not start at all. It only shows a cursor at the bottom left. And the computer has freeze ahead to restart it. Clearly, Hercules was not designed for video games, it had a higher graphic quality than the, the MDA, which allowed it to be used in industrial applications such as renderings, calculations, high-res graphics. In any case, for us who appreciate the retrofuturistic and industrial look of the IBM product and the green screen, the Hercules is perfect because it allows us to run more, more pleasant programs of Lotus 1-3 for example. Thanks for watching, see you next time!